Set up both virtual machines as follows. As you can see, we are starting up the Kali Linux and Metasploitable VMs in VirtualBox. The attacker, Kali is on the left and the target device, Metasploitable is on the right hand side. The IP addresses of the devices will be different to yours. In the real world, we would have to deliver this payload to a target via a phishing campaign or a USB stick left in the parking lot. However, this is just a simulation on a simple network. The Kali Linux box is going to be set to listen for connections on, in this case, port 4444. It used command nc-nvlp, with the flags as shown. The code to be delivered on the target is as follows. nc followed by the IP address and port number, then minus e, forward slash bin, forward slash bash. As you can see, Kali Linux is constantly listening for connections on TCP port 4444 on the left. The code is being entered on the Metasploitable machine on the right, and this will form the reverse shell back to Kali. The shell is now made, and Kali Linux has now received a connection from the target. You can now carry out Linux commands as if you are sitting directly on the device. I can find out anything about Metasploitable, create folders, see who is logged into the device, drop files onto it such as a rootkit etc. This is the technique needed to enumerate the device, but also maintain access to it when required, via a backdoor. There is so much more to Netcat, but we will provide this in later videos. Thanks to the G-Man channel for another easy to follow tutorial. Like, share and subscribe. We will see you again soon. Goodbye.